Awareness is paramount that epilepsy can kill. Why have we lost our beautiful daughter to SUDEP? Chris and Linda Price lost their daughter Laura to sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, known as SUDEP. 30-year-old Laura, a successful director-producer of high-profile TV shows, had been clear of seizures for nearly 10 years, but they returned in the weeks before she died. We were absolutely devastated to learn that Laura had died from epilepsy, or SUDEP as it's called, because we didn't even know that her epilepsy had returned. I was in shock, and I suppose in a way I'm still in shock, you know, that such a, a dreadful thing could have happened to somebody who was so young and so vibrant. We know now from the best evidence that a significant number of seizure-related deaths may be avoided perhaps up to 400 of a thousand deaths a year. Epilepsy Bereaved is the only charity dedicated to preventing deaths from epilepsy. At its heart is the contact line. The person on the contact line from Epilepsy Bereaved helped me enormously. She phoned me regularly and asked me how I was. Epilepsy Bereaved has been a rock if it hadn't been around, I don't know what we would have done. Deaths from epilepsy have only recently been acknowledged. The charity is about taking SUDEP out of the shadows in order that action can be taken to save young lives. It is vitally important that anybody related to somebody suffering from epilepsy should be made aware that it could kill. We didn't know that it, that it could kill, and when we found out that it took our 30-year-old daughter, we were absolutely crucified. Epilepsy Bereaved is working with researchers to establish a SUDEP research initiative with the aim of preventing deaths. Research is urgently needed to understand more about the people affected. What kind of epilepsy did they have? How severe was it? How were they being treated? We need to understand more about what it is that happens during a seizure that puts people at risk of dying. We also want to look at whether we can design simple interventions that might reduce the risk of death during seizures. And bereaved relatives will provide very important information for this research project. Epilepsy Bereaved campaigns with politicians and with the health service to ensure that lessons are learnt from epilepsy-related deaths. The strength and power of the personal stories of the families are vital in educating and raising awareness. Roger and Sandy Scriven, with the charity's support, spent a lot of time raising awareness and lobbying the authorities about SUDEP. Their 11-year-old daughter, Becky, died suddenly. Although Becky had been suffering seizures for a couple of years, she was only finally diagnosed as an epilepsy sufferer a few days before she passed away. I found her early one morning when trying to wake her for school in the early days, Epilepsy Bereaved helped us to understand why we'd lost Becky, as we'd never heard of Sue Depp. The charity also helped us very much through Becky's inquest, where we felt totally out of our depth. But since that time, we've found that it helps us to give back to the charity through fundraising and raising of awareness. I'm pleased to say that as a result of our efforts, there appear to have been additional appointments in the medical profession. I've also been in communication with our local MP, which has resulted in a junior minister of the government becoming involved. Becky's sister Lauren, who works on an organic farm, will be displaying the animals to raise money for epilepsy bereaved. It's important to raise the money so that we can raise awareness for families so that this doesn't happen so much in the future, but also to help the families and friends who have been through it already. Raising awareness of SUDEP saves lives. Three seizure deaths a day in the UK, too many.